besides being two world-famous athletes. The Rock and Cristiano Ronaldo are two tycoons who know how to make the most of their great fortunes. But have you ever wondered which of them leads the most luxurious life? In this video, you're going to see a heated battle between The Rock and Cristiano Ronaldo. So, let's fight! Cars! Both celebrities tend to spend a lot of money on vehicles, but which of them will own the most expensive cars? The Rock, for example, has been seen with several impressive cars, such as $35,000 Plymouth Prowler, $55,000 1971 Chevy Chevelle, $75,000 Ford F-150, $80,000 Jaguar F-Type, $105,000 Cadillac Escalade, $110,000 Range Rover Sport, $120,000 1969 Chevrolet Camaro, $130,000 BMW i8, $140,000 Porsche Taycan, $145,000 Porsche Panamera, $150,000 Aston Martin Vantage, $180,000 McLaren 650s, $210,000 Aston Martin DB9, $220,000 Bentley Continental GT, $250,000 Ferrari 458, $300,000 Lamborghini Huracan, $310,000 Ferrari F12 Berlinetta, $340,000 Rolls-Royce Cullinan, $350,000 Rolls-Royce Wraith, $450,000 Lamborghini Aventador, $500,000 Ford GT660. Already in the millions, he has been seen with a McLaren P1, a super sports car capable of attracting a lot of attention wherever it goes, whose price of the latest models can easily exceed the figure of $1.2 million. Even more expensive, Dwayne Johnson has already taken a picture with a Ferrari LaFerrari, a stunning vehicle with a modern and futuristic design, capable of charming anyone who likes sports cars. And it's no wonder that to have this incredible vehicle in your garage, you may have to spend a real fortune, and it can be found for more than $1.4 million. The most expensive car The Rock has ever seen was a beautiful Pagani Huayra, a sports car coveted by many car lovers. The sports car has a modern design with an impeccable finish, and if the actor has this car, he may have shelled out more than $2.6 million. Cristiano Ronaldo, on the other hand, is speculated to have passed several cars in his garage, such as a $45,000 Camaro convertible, a $115,000 Mercedes AMG GLE 63, a $155,000 Audi RS7, a $200,000 Bentley Continental, a $210,000 Porsche 911 Turbo S, a $250,000 Mercedes-Benz S65 AMG Coupe, a $350,000 Maserati Gran Cabrio, a $400,000 Lamborghini Aventador, a $410,000 Ferrari 599 GTO, a $480,000 Ferrari F12 TDF, a $500,000 Rolls-Royce Phantom, a $1 million McLaren Senna, a $2 million Ferrari Monza SP1, a $2,500,000 Bugatti Veyron Grand Sport Vitesse, a $3,100,000 Bugatti Chiron. And for having the most luxurious garage, Cristiano Ronaldo wins this round. Point for him. Most expensive property. Both tycoons like to live in comfort, but which of them owns the most valuable property? Cristiano Ronaldo, for example, is currently building one of the most luxurious and expensive mansions in his country, Portugal. And although it is not currently done building, just by the photos of the project you can already imagine how luxurious this new residence of the player will end up being. And according to the sources, Ronaldo's new villa will cost him 18 million pounds. The Rock, on the other hand, owns a luxurious mansion situated on a 3.67-acre plot in Beverly Hills, California. Although there are few records of the interior of the property, it is possible to see that Dwayne Johnson's property can offer a lot of privacy, leisure, and comfort for him. 
Resembling almost a resort, the mansion has several amenities such as a large green space, a cinema room with comfortable armchairs, a tennis court, a recreation area with a swimming pool, and even another heated swimming pool that is fully covered. And to acquire this Mediterranean-style mansion, the star had to spend a real fortune. According to some sources, The Rock had to pay the princely sum of $27.8 million. As The Rock's mansion is much more expensive, he wins this round. Point for the actor! Watches Both businessmen like to collect watches, but who invests more money in this type of accessory? The Rock, for example, has been seen wearing the following watches. A $7,500 tag Hoyer Monaco. A $8,000 Breitling Super Ocean Heritage. A $13,000 IWC Big Pilot 7 Days. A $21,000 IWC Portuguese Annual Calendar. A $25,000 Rolex GMT Master 2. A $28,000 Rolex Yacht Master. A $30,000 Payne Rice Submersible Gold Tech. A $30,000 IWC Big Pilot Perpetual Calendar Spitfire. A $35,000 Audemars Pichuet. And even a $320,000 Audemars Pichuet White Gold. Ronaldo, for his part, has also been spotted with various watches, such as a $485,000 Rolex GMT Master II White Gold, a $610,000 Brigitte Complications Double Turbillion, a $700,000 Bulgari Octo Turbillion Blue, a $1 million Bugatti Chiron Turbillion, a $1 million Jacob & Company Grand Baguette, a $1 million Hublet Turbillion Biaxis King Gold, a $1,500,000 Frank Muller Sentry Curvex, a $2 million Gerard Perigos Planetarium, a $2 million Frank Muller Invisible Baguette Diamonds. In other words, Cristiano Ronaldo wins this round. Other Real Estate When it comes to investing in real estate, the two athletes don't usually skimp. But who has the most impressive real estate portfolio? The Rock, for example, bought in 2012 a 13,000 square foot mansion in a gated community in the city of Miami, Florida. Going inside the property, we can see that the decor has a classic style with very sophisticated furniture. According to the photos that were released in the media, the mansion has a cinema room for the actor to watch his movies, as well as six beautiful and spacious bedrooms and seven bathrooms, some of which are very luxurious. In the external area, there is a lot of space with very green grass and a beautiful swimming pool with a jacuzzi. And to live in this big house, some sources estimate that the actor paid around $3.5 million at the time. When Dwayne Johnson wants to have more tranquility and contact with nature, he can enjoy his amazing 46-acre farm in Powder Springs. Entering the property of the actor, we can see how well cared for and beautiful his farm is, with an extensive green lawn, an ideal place for those who enjoy contact with nature. There is, for example, a large private lake, a place where The Rock has already posted on social networks that he likes to practice fishing and have a lot of fun with his daughters. The main farmhouse, which was built in 2002, has French Provencal architecture and has almost 15,000 square feet of floor space. Its interior has a rustic design, with a strong presence of walnut wood and stone cladding, as well as high ceilings and good natural light, reminiscent of old historic mansions. The mansion has eight bedrooms and nine bathrooms, some of which are very large and luxurious. In the backyard of the property, there is a good recreation area with a barbecue and a beautiful round swimming pool with a whirlpool. But no doubt it is the outside of the property that is most impressive, with a large area of pasture and of course a barn with 12 stables for the property's horses. And for when the actor wants to have fun with his animals, there is a spacious sand track for horses. As reported in the media, Dwayne Johnson needed to spend about $9.5 million. Meanwhile, when Ronaldo was playing for Juventus, he lived with his family in Toronto, Italy. The soccer player's residence is in a more discreet location with trees around in order to give him more privacy. Inside, the decoration matches the player's vain style, having several pictures of him printed on the walls. The rooms are very well lit, with huge windows that brighten the house very well and bring a sense of coziness. 
and by the photos he has already posted on social networks, it is known that there are in the property some luxury places, such as a spectacular room with an indoor pool whose walls are clad with black marble, and of course, a gym equipped with state-of-the-art equipment for him to work out and maintain his athlete's physique. There is also a huge garage for the star to store his entire collection of luxury cars. But what draws the most attention in this incredible mansion, without a doubt, is the spectacular view it has of the Italian city. And even if the price of Cristiano Ronaldo's mansion in Italy is not known, considering the cheer size of the estate, it is very likely that it should be worth a few tens of millions of dollars. Already to rest after an intense routine of games, Ronaldo acquired 2019 a beautiful beach house in southern Spain. The luxurious property is in a gated community made exclusively for millionaires. According to the images of the house project that was exposed in the media, Ronaldo's residence has a modern and sophisticated design, with a very clean-looking decor, seeing as it has plenty of light tones. It is also known that the player's estate has four bedrooms, a large living room surrounded by glass, an infinity pool and, of course, a breathtaking view of the Mediterranean Sea. And according to some sources, in order to acquire this beach house, Cristiano Ronaldo may have invested around $1,600,000. In New York, USA, he also owns an apartment in the Trump Tower building. The property is 2,500 square feet in area and has a very classic and luxurious decor, having for example floors made of black and white limestone and many walls covered in wood. And of course, an athlete like him couldn't fail to have a room solely for exercising. And as reported in the media, to acquire this property he had to pay around $18,500,000, but then he decided to sell the property, taking on a huge loss of over $10 million. And because he's had more luxurious properties, Ronaldo wins this round. Point for him! Luxury Transport Both athletes like to get around in sophistication and comfort, but who has the most luxurious transportation? The Rock, for example, has been seen in a Gulfstream G650, one of the most modern, fastest, and longest-range aircraft available on the market in this segment. The interior of the plane is luxuriously finished and can carry up to 18 people with great ergonomics. And although we do not know if he owns this little jet, it is estimated that to rent it you have to pay about $15,000 per flight hour. Cristiano Ronaldo, on the other hand, once owned a Gulfstream G200, a sophisticated, high-performance, mid-size, twin-engine executive aircraft. The interior of the aircraft is very comfortable and spacious, where Cristiano Ronaldo has shared photos showing his makeshift bed. The aircraft can carry up to 10 passengers, and it is no wonder that it can cost up to $6 million. The soccer star's most expensive jet is the Gulfstream G650, one of the most modern, fastest, and longest flying range aircraft available on the market. The interior of the plane has a luxurious finish and can carry up to 18 people, offering great ergonomics. And to have this super jet always at your disposal it is necessary to invest a real fortune. Depending on the model and year, it can cost up to $70 million. When it comes to boats, CR7 has an Azimut Grande 27 Metri. A yacht designed by the Italian company Azimut Yachts, made of 100% pure carbon fiber. The yacht has more than 3,700 square feet of area, with the capacity for up to five suites, besides having great leisure areas, such as a beautiful whirlpool bath for when Ronaldo wants to relax next to his wife. The vessel features a sophisticated design, with large window openings that allow passengers to make the most of the natural scenery. And to have this treat at his disposal, the player needed to invest more than $10 million. And because he spends a lot more on luxury transport, Cristiano Ronaldo wins this round. Point for the Portuguese. Business Both celebrities have many sources of income, but who stands out more in the business world? Cristiano Ronaldo, for example, took advantage of the fact that he is known as a stylish man and decided to set up his shop, known as CR7 where he sells underwear, glasses, and perfumes, among other products. And to give you an idea of the success, the store's Instagram alone has more than 5 million followers. He also invests in the hotel business, being a partner in the Pestana chain, the largest hotel conglomerate in Portugal. This partnership was responsible for creating the Pestana CR7 Hotels, a line of luxury hotels with the theme focused on the football star. 
Currently, there are already units scattered in the cities of New York, Madeira, Madrid, and Lisbon, but with plans to open many others around the world. And to give you an idea of the size of the business, just one of the units that is scheduled to open in Paris required an investment of about 60 million euros. The Rock, on the other hand, is not far behind. One of his ventures is his production company called Seven Bucks Productions, which has released several successful films starring him, such as Rampage, Jumanji, The Next Level, Hobbs and Shaw, Red Notice, among others. However, in the fitness business, Dwayne launched Athletico in 2019, a mega event with talks focused on athletics and well-being. He has also released his own app called The Rock Clock, which features a motivational alarm clock and goal plan for those who are looking to improve their physique. On the other hand, in the American football universe, it was announced in the media that The Rock and other partners have acquired the XFL Professional League for $15 million. Dwayne Johnson also has investments in the beverage business, being for example one of the partners of ZOA Energy, an energy drink made for those who need more energy. In addition, one of the actor's biggest businesses is his stake in the tequila brand Terramana, which has been very successful with the public and is projected to be worth billions of dollars in the coming years. And social media is where Johnson does a lot of the publicizing for his companies. On YouTube, for example, he has over 6 million subscribers, and he makes use of this audience to make money by boosting the sale of his products. On Instagram, it's no different, because he is one of the most followed celebrities in the world, with around 350 million people and potential customers. But he also takes advantage of his fame to advertise for other companies, such as Apple, Voss, Under Armour, among many others. To get an idea of figures, it is estimated that the actor's 2017 partnership with automaker Ford alone earned him around $15 million a year. But his biggest advertising contract is estimated to be with sporting goods brand Under Armour, with some sources estimating that the actor receives around $25 million a year from it. As we don't know how much they earn from each business, we'll consider this round a draw. Points for both. Net Worth as two powerful men, there's no doubt that they've already conquered great wealth. But which of them has the greatest accumulated net worth? Cristiano Ronaldo, for example, is one of the highest paid players in the world today, earning around £62 million in wages alone for playing for Al Nasser Football Club. But this represents only a fraction of his entire income, as according to some sources, it is estimated that Ronaldo currently makes more money doing advertising than actually playing football. And the reason is very simple, he is none other than the celebrity with the most followers on Instagram, having about 500 million people who follow his posts on the platform. And it is for all this ability to influence people, that the biggest brands in the world are willing to invest a small fortune to link their image to his. An example being Nike, which has a lifetime contract with the athlete, paying around 24 million euros per year. And it's no wonder that sources say that in 2019, Cristiano Ronaldo has received approximately $47,800,000 from his sponsored Instagram posts alone, which means he was receiving more than $1 million for just one photo. And to give some idea of Ronaldo's fortune, some sources estimate that his net worth is currently over $600 million. The Rock, in turn, is considered one of the most successful actors in the world. In his prime wrestling in WWE, The Rock's salary reached the million-dollar figures, with sources estimating that he'd even made around $5 million a year. But it was as a Hollywood movie actor that Dwayne Johnson really made his money. To get a sense of figures, it is estimated that he received about $5,500,000 for The Scorpion King, $9 million for The Other Guys, $10 million for Fast and Furious 6, $12,500,000 for the rundown, $14 million for Central Intelligence, $15 million for Furious 7, $20 million for Hercules, $22,500,000 for Black Adam, $23,500,000 for Red Notice, and some $25 million for San Andreas. And it's no wonder that The Rock has been considered the highest paid actor in the world multiple times, with his peak being in 2018 when it was estimated that he was paid around $124 million for the year, becoming the highest paid actor of all time. 
and while no one knows exactly how wealthy The Rock is, many sources estimate that Dwayne Johnson has a net worth of approximately $800 million. As The Rock has a bigger fortune, it is he who wins this last round. Point for the actor! At the end of this fight, we had 3 points for The Rock against 5 points for CR7. Who won this battle? But if you think there are still other arguments to defend one of the two, write your best justification below. Hey, you like the video? So don't forget about leave your like and comment, and tell some suggestions of another videos, and hopefully we gonna do it. All about channel, deals to satisfy your curiosity.